let's consider the following exercises. We want to either write this symbol or this symbol. This symbol is used to indicate that the set is a subset and this is not a subset. So you'd either use this symbol or this symbol in each blank so that the resulting statement is true. So for instance, in number two, we have this set here, two, three, seven, and we want to compare it to the to this set here, which is a set containing one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Is it a subset or not a subset? What do you mean by subset? Subset if all the elements of this set are also members of this set here. So we have two, three, seven. Two, three, seven are all members of this bigger set here. So therefore, we have a subset here. What about for number four? Are all elements in here can be found in here? No, because zero is not on this set here. So we have this not a subset because zero is not a member of this set. Now, um, for number six, Mercury, Venus, Earth. Is the set containing Mercury, Venus, Earth a subset to the set containing Venus, Earth, Mars, and Jupiter? No, because Mercury cannot be found on this set here. So therefore, this is not a subset. Now, this um, example here, X such that X is a dog, and this one is X such that X is a pure breed dog. Now, is this set here a subset to this set? No. It is not a subset to that set because a subset cannot be larger than the set. So this set here is definitely larger than this set here. Okay, for number 14, empty set. Is that a subset of this set here or not? We know that an empty set is a default subset to any set. So we have a subset here. What about this? One, three, five. Is that a subset of an empty set? Well, this set here contains one, three, and five. Well, this set here contains nothing. So therefore, this is not a subset because again, a subset cannot be larger than the set. This symbol here is used to denote an empty set. So I just want you to take note, this is also empty set. So, and this is also empty. That is also another notation for an empty set. So these two sets are equal. So you know that itself is always a subset of itself. So therefore, this one is a subset. Now for the next exercises here, we want to determine whether we can write subset or proper subset or both or neither. Now again, this one is subset, meaning everything that are on the smaller set is also on the bigger set. And we did not discount the fact that it could also be equal to itself. This one is a proper subset. The subset must be strictly less than the set itself. Or you could also put both, if both of these could be true, or you could say neither if it's not a subset at all. Okay, so let's do number 20. So the set containing F-I-N, you're comparing that to the set containing F-I-N-K. So this one, you could actually, in here, you could either write this or this. Okay, both of these could be true. Now for number 22, which one can you write? So you have 9, 1, 7, 3, 4. And then you compare that to 1, 3, 4, 7, and 9. As if you notice, all the elements here are exactly the same as the elements here. This is exactly the same as this one. So I cannot say that this is strictly less than, than this one because they're, in fact, they're actually equal sets. 
So this is that one only. So the subset only. Can you write subset or proper subset? So X is a woman, X is a person. So this one, you can write both. What about number 32? X is a natural number that is between 3 and 10. These are the set of natural numbers between 2 and 16. Now, all the elements here are in here, correct? So, therefore, I can also write both. Subset or proper subset. Proper subset because it is strictly less than, so the elements in A are strictly less than the elements in B. Meaning to say, the number of elements here strictly less than the number of elements in B or everything in here or exactly in here and you also have other elements that are in here but can't be in here so this set here b is bigger than set a for number 34 is a a subset to b well this is set of all real numbers between 3 to 10 so meaning to say these are 4 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. But this one, these are, we're looking at the numbers 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Now notice that I have 9 here that I cannot find in set B. So therefore, this set A here is not a subset at all to set B. So this one is neither because 9 is not an element to B. Therefore, A is not a subset to B. Now determine whether each statement is true or false. If the statement is false, explain why. Is Canada an element to this set here? Element meaning a member. Is Canada a member to this set here? Yes, because you can find it in the given set. So you have a set here containing Mexico, United States, and Canada. So therefore, Canada is a member of this set here. So therefore, this is true. Next, number 44. Canada is a subset to this set here. No, this one is false because Canada is actually an element. When you say subset, it should be this set here, the set containing Canada, that is the subset of the set. So Canada is the, the subset, not Canada. Canada, without the braces, this is an element. So this one, this is correct. This is a subset. So that is true. Now here, you have empty set. Empty set is a subset? Yes. An empty set is a subset because it is always a default subset to any set. So this one is true. Now for these two numbers here, we want to list all subsets of the given set. So here, we know in the formula that the number of subsets is given by the formula 2 to the n of a or the cardinality of a so the cardinality of the set here is two we have two elements so therefore we are looking at four subsets the number of subsets is two to the two which is four so for number 56 we're looking for four subsets so always write the default subset subset is empty set so that's one and the next is the set containing one and then you have to just increase the number of elements so zero number of elements in a set and the next one element per set so you just have to pick each element here so you have the set containing romeo the set containing juliet and then Next, so the set containing two elements, which is the set containing Romeo and Juliet. So this is actually the set itself. So you end when you get the set itself. And now, do we have four subsets? We have one, two, three, four. Those are all the subsets we're looking for. For number 58, how many subsets we're looking for? Here in the given set, we have three elements. 
the number of subsets that we are looking at is 2 to the 3 and that is equal to 8. So we're looking for 8 subsets. If we're able to write down all these 8 subsets, then we have written down all the subsets of this given set here. So you start by writing down the empty set. That's always the first set. And then next, the set containing only one element. So I, the set containing one, the set containing two, Roman numeral number two, and then the set containing Roman numeral number three. We call that singleton. Next, we have a set with two elements. So you just get any two pairs from this one. So I can pair one and two, and then I can also pair one and three, and then I can pair two and three. These are the subsets with two elements. So far we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. We're missing another one. Then we write down the set itself, the set containing three elements. So one, two, three. And now we have eight. We have eight subsets. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And that's what we're actually expecting. Okay, so now lastly for this exercises here, we want to calculate the number of distinct subsets and the number of distinct proper subsets for each set. Now, if you recall, the number of distinct subsets is just 2 to the n of a. And then for the number of distinct proper subset, this is 2 to the n of a minus 1. For 64, if I call this A, if this is my set A, this is just equal to, just count the number of elements, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So this is 6. So therefore, for the number of subsets is equal to 2 to the 6. 2 to the 6 is actually equal to 64. Then the number of proper subsets. Now for proper subsets, you just have to remove itself. So all you need to do is you have 64, 2 to the 6, minus 1. And that is equal to 63. For number 68, we have to count first the number of elements here. We have natural numbers between 2 and 6. So what are these natural numbers? This is also the same as 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6. So you start with 2. So because of the equality sign here, meaning you have to start with 2 and then you end at 6. So all in all, we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 5 elements. So the number of subsets in the set here is 2 to the 5th. 2 to the 5th is equal to 32. For the number of proper subsets, we just have 32 minus 1, and that is equal to 32.